up uh, another bike from the fantastic guys over at Destination Triumph from Guildford, uh, particularly in Bramley, just south of Guildford. Um, I happen to be at uh, Porsche Cars. I know I keep making a habit of, of doing this sort of thing, but uh, this seems to work. Now, this is the new 2016 Triumph Explorer XRT. Now this is retailing about 15,000, we've got a bit of back boxes, etc. Maybe the hour exhaust for 700, you're looking at about 16, 16 and a half. So it's right up there with its main competitors, KTM Super Adventure, top BMWs and even Multistrada, you know, the top level Multistradas. However, this, I've just been down it's as smooth as you like, it's got everything on it that you ever imagined. I mean, I couldn't always go through this with you. I mean, it looks good. It looks so much better than the previous model. The front assembly is much more attractive in line with the 2016 models. And the whole bike looks a lot better, basically. Ah, look at that. I put a link up to the last year's Explorer that I took out on the car for green. Okay, it's got a single-sided swing arm. It's got really good protection all over it. All round here, protect you should you drop it. And at the end of the day, it's quite heavy. The only problem I've really got with these sort of bikes is when you come to a stop, you're on tiptoes and it's a bit disconcerting. If you go put your foot down on a bit of a camber, geez, I've done that twice already on the trip down here. And uh, oh, it wasn't funny, <laughs> it wasn't funny at all. Because if the bike starts to go, you ain't getting it back. Um, but you can get lower seats um, and you can adjust the seat lower so all in all that shouldn't be an issue obviously if you're 5'8 or lower you're going to have a problem on this sort of bike anyway which is why you go on the back and someone else sits on the front talk to which fantastic comfort for pillions now this is gets really good it's got heated grips it's got a heated front seat multi-level it's got a heated back seat for pillions I mean, stick a back box, cut off panniers, and there you go. Imagine that. One or two. Turn it off. Simple as that. Heated back seat, back box of comfort. A pillion is going to be very happy. Now let's uh, turn it on. Well, that is a bit of a wishy-washy movie. All sorts of stuff going on there. Um, now this is probably in my world. This is the perfect binnacle instant cluster whatever you want to call it it's got the digital speedo fuel ambient temperature range etc miles per gallon it's got an analog rev counter brilliant with the traditional little lit up little circles around it fantastic on the left it's got an incredibly functional yet simplified mapping technology now i've got to try and remember exactly what i do but first of all i think i'll show you is if you click in the back button up here, and it selects the screen, and you can just move the screen up and down as befits the height of the rider. How bloody cool is that? I mean, okay, it's not completely unusual, but it's a nice touch. Smooth as you like. So that comes out, it automatically just go back to normal. Now, if you click the map button down here, you could, and just by simply pressing it again, you can go into straight into sport off-road obviously that makes suspension more compliant for off-roading fantastic at the end of the day this is an explorer it can go anywhere you like just click it rider that's where you can go into it if you hold it down i believe you go into it and you could actually manually configure each component so you've got the abs traction control you've got the semi-active suspension just exit out of there just move along obviously it's got a rain mode as well as you expect so at the moment I've been in road mode, I haven't put it in the sport, but I'll tell you what, so far, this bike is unbelievable. I mean, unbelievable. But let's get on it, and we'll talk about that. Right, okay, so let's turn this on. Look at that. <laughs> that lights up like Blackpool in September. Turn it on. Whoa, 1200cc of epicness. All right, first gear, very nice. Chip behind, we'll get run over by a Porsche. drawing up now which is good careful that is oi 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 just push down a bit 
And now, I'll tell you, it's warming up nicely. Now I'm starting to feel over bloody dressed. I'm going to get hot. Right, so first thing, well first impression is when you come to a stop, put your feet down in advance, feel for the ground. I've got 30 inch inside leg on a standard seat setting. I'm on tiptoes and it's fucking scary. Excuse my French. Right. The seat's obviously very soft. Suspension uh, in this current setting I'm on, on road. Very soft and lovely and squidgy and it's ever so comfortable. Mm. A bit of ribs. This thing turns amazingly. It definitely feels lighter than uh, last year's uh, Explorer model. No doot about that, I tell you, no doubt about that. Right, first impressions. Um, love that front screen in front, I think. See it's making an effect already. The instrument binnacle is extremely well done and it's very, very clear. The mirrors are fantastic. You're getting about 80% visibility. You know, 80% actual view and 20% is my elbow. And that's a lot better than average. A lot of bikes only have 50-50 viewing. You wonder what the bloody point is. Actually, that's pretty damn good. The seat's comfortable, um, when the knees are up they rest nicely on the foot pegs, the gear change is perfect. The tank also is very wide, you don't hug it like you might do on a smaller bike, you just rest your foot pegs against it. The throttle is very responsive, it might catch you out if you're on a laborious tour or you go on this. This is in normal mode, it's still got sporty pretensions. I'll put it on sport. So it's, it's got so much torque. It instantly makes bikes feel alive. It feels more sporty in nature. I mean, yes, it is a sports tourer. It's not a tourer tourer. It's not like um, the big, heavy, huge grey bikes full of girth and huge front ends, which are out and out tourers. This is a sport tourer. And the best thing about this is, you can either be a sport, sport tourer, or a sport tourer, tourer. Because you've actually got the best of both worlds. You can adjust it completely, you can have comfort suspension, for long rides, you can have it, you can turn it up so it's sport, it's firm, and you, I don't know, I mean, why not take it on a track? Because it's got semi-adjustable suspension, it knows what the road surface is as you're riding along. It adjusts automatically. In one way, you know, do well to come off this bike once you're going along. You've got so much there to help you out. Right, so map, road, sport, and that's it. You just click it once to get it up, click it once to more to get in the sport, and then just take your finger off it, and it's that's done. Oh God, it's funny, isn't it? As soon as you, uh, as soon as, you it, as soon as you put it in the sport settings, you you kind of change your personality. It's like, yeah, yeah. I'm going to cane it. It's, it's so fun. Uh, straight away, I can feel that the, the throttle response is absolutely instant. I mean, <laughs> I mean, like, I mean, really, really instant. Wow. I mean, it's not going to promote a, safe, a, a smooth ride. It's not for um, this one's not for billions. I'll uh, give you the old bang in the head every time you go to slow down or brake. Feel it's just like a cage done really go. Yes! The power has landed! Put the third. My god, that actually did shift. That was that's 1200cc's putting power down. In only a, a well-configured bike would do that. Suddenly this bike is completely different. Now. Oh my god, this bike turns amazingly! Wow! I can't even start doing manoeuvres, because this bike... It's, <laughs> this bike has got no right to turn like this! 
Aaron, the uh, young gentleman that just used to triumph in Bramley near Guildford, uh, said I should have a go on this. He knows I'm looking at uh, a Super Naked. He knows I'm also considering looking for a Sport Truck Tour as my second bike. I want to get a bike very quickly. He said, look, why, not, why pay 20 grand plus on two different bikes like that? Have this bike for 16, save four grand, you've got one bike that does everything. And I must be, I was a bit sceptical. I mean, I wanted two bikes really because, you know, one's for nice and two's for the old, old, um, oh, just a bit. Wow. Oh, that power. Okay, I mean, it's not R1. I've not been doing this for a thousand. But for a heavy sport tourer, that's pretty damn quick. But it's not that, it's the suspension. It's WP suspension, in case you didn't spot that. Which makes the power go down perfectly. And it, it kind of, it's just everything for you. Going around a bend, it's like, just sweet as a nut. Right, I've got this for an hour, which is great. And um, I'm going to use that hour. As you ride this bike, it starts making more and more sense. grown-up bike. It's comfy, it can take two in comfort on many miles. It's clear of purpose, it's a sports tourer and it does well at both. I'm really, really impressed with it to be honest. Such a big engine, it's really smooth and it sounds good. fantastic array of electricery. Now you can go into the settings and make your own configuration, your own style of riding and it will remember that when you turn it back on. But the standard mapping is really good and if you can stay with that and if you want to just change the suspension then why not? So you might find I actually quite like the sport aspect of it or the normal road drive but I want to stick it into comfort the actual suspension setup, so it's sort of compliant. The other really clever thing it does, I kid you not, is it knows when a pillion's on it and adjusts it automatically. It's got a weight sensor. I mean, what's that about? How good's that? That is impressive. It's obviously got a cruise control, very simple to operate over on the right hand side. <sighs> and it's just so fit for purpose. It's also a fine looking bike, and in my opinion, and these things are subjective, that it's miles, miles better looking than the big BMWs. It kind of just looks like a slightly bigger version of something like a Tracer. Um, I've been on the KTM Super Adventure, that's a competitor. Completely different bikes. You've got to go on both and really kind of work out what's the best one for you. But I'm pretty confident in saying either of them are going to beat your BMW. Is it epic? Look at that. I mean, you can really quite swing it. Yeah, it's got a bit of an angle there. There ain't nothing wrong with this bike. This bike's really good. 
I mean, if you're looking for a sports tour in this sort of price bracket, you have to, have to, have to take this out at least. This was a triumph. I mean, they make bras as well. I mean, it's a win-win. If you're a man, you get a bike. If you're a woman, you get a bra. If you're a woman rider, you get both. Come on. Right, okay, that's not off here. Cracking bike, cracking. So this is abishbike.com and uh, it's good night for me and it's good night from here.